Wow. Good evening, and thank you for joining me on Media Speaks Radio. I'm your host, D. Lake Prez. Tonight, this is incredible. It's D. Lake for Prez's Believe It or Not. Teleportation, invisibility, genetic mutations, like the X-Men. Teleportation, you know, like Nightcrawler, the ability to go from one place to another, uh, like the fly was trying to do, until the fly was in the teleportation device there. I ordered a pizza earlier tonight. Imagine if my pizza was teleported here. Imagine what teleportation could do, you know, if you think about it. it. Think about the practical applications of uh, mass teleportation, quantum teleportation. When you put teleportation into Google, teleportation possible, teleportation research, teleportation in China, teleportation research, took me to uh, researcher.watson.ibm.com, an IBM website. Uh, where they talk about quantum teleportation, and teleportation is the name given by science fiction writers to the feat of making an object or person disintegrate in one place while a perfect replica appears somewhere else. Scotty, 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 Scotty. Scientists successfully teleport, 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 teleport photons nearly 100 kilometers. Think teleportation is a fictional concept? Think again, again, again. Not only is teleportation possible, but scientists in China have recently teleported a photon, a record-setting distance of 97 kilometers. Before you get too excited, though, understand this doesn't mean the scientists are close to realizing the technology from Star Trek or The Fly. <laughs> and I wrote on my list tonight of visibility, so I was like, what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, article by Melissa Breyer just came out. Uh, yeah, tonight, November 12th, 2012, from Plato's Ring of Gaius to H.G. Wells, The Invisible Man, to Harry Potter's Magic Cape. We've been obsessed for millennia with the idea of invisibility. What about the original Clash of the Titans? That was awesome. In 2006, researchers from Duke University came close with the design for an invisibility cloak, yet the device was imperfect as it left reflections around the edges. Now, a member of that team, graduate student Nathan Landy from Duke's Pratt School of Engineering has redesigned the device with promising success because the goal of this type of research involves transforming light or other waves and how they can be controlled or transmitted. A new field called transformational optics has emerged. Duke's transformational optics teams has been specializing in creating metamaterials, objects born in the lab that have properties not found in natural materials. Using these metamaterials, devices can be designed that direct electromagnetic waves around an object and then emerge again on the other side, creating the illusion that the item is no longer there. The cloak built in 2006 relied on parallel intersecting strips of fiberglass etched with copper. The new cloak is a two feet square diamond shaped device looking more steampunk than high tech in which Landy employed a similar row by row design but added copper strips to create a more complex material. We built the cloak and it worked, said Landy. It split right into two waves which traveled around an object in the center and re-emerged as a single wave with minimal loss due to reflections. Landy noted that this idea could have more applications beyond cloaks, such as significantly improving fiber optics performance. The team is now hoping to apply the principles learned in the latest research to three dimensions, a much greater challenge than constructing a two-dimensional device. It may come as little surprise that this research, which resulted in the ultimate sci-fi camouflage, was supported by the Office of Naval Research and the Army Research Office. That's why I clicked. That's why I clicked. That's why I clicked. That's why I clicked. clicked. The last on my list was genetic mutation, like the X-Men. Let's see if we can't come up with an article that just came out today, November 12th, 2012, like this article here on MNN.com by Melissa Breyer. Uh, That was great. 
kind of predator. I like that one. And uh, let's see what, what's up with the X Men. Thanks for joining me on the Media Speaks Radio. Check out TheMediaSpeaks.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Right? Down there in network. I'm Elaine Press. Have a good night. Peace. Peace.